headed south. I'm tired. The last three days, lots of lots of driving, lots of chasing, and really about zero to show for it. And um, I wasn't really planning on chasing today. After this is the day after um, the tornado chances in um, California with Hurricane Hillary. Uh, but the storms look really good here today, and there's 40 knots effective shear in a lot of places uh, where these storms are going. There's already a uh, supercell-ish storm in Tucson, so um, can't sit out a day like this. Maybe a chance at a haboob. I don't know. There's a lot of cloud cover here in Phoenix. I don't know what's going to happen when the storms get up here, and they may stay just a little bit east of town, but... We could have that. Um, either way, it's a lot of sheer and a lot of good stuff today. So, gotta go after it. It's what I do. So, hopefully, something good. Headed down uh, eight now, um, close to Picacho Peak. There, uh, the super cell is over Tucson has kind of died out. We can see a very um, sad looking, dying uh, storm anvil kind of cloud. Off to the left is a few more, and behind um, radar, uh, behind the storm on radar, there's big storms coming off. Um, the Catalinas again, kind of redeveloping behind all this. So I'm gonna head over, I think, Park Link Road and see that stuff coming off the Catalinas. See if it does anything and holds together towards Phoenix. storm on the, the right. It's actually got some decent rotation on it on radar. Very, very um, large hail floor and uh, got some scuddy lowering features in there. So we'll see if we can get there next like five or ten minutes. Now there's our severe storm. Um, really hard to see the rotations on the other side of the rain probably. So really hard to see what's going on here. And not sure if I want to punch it or not on the south side of it or not but it looks great that's an awesome planes like downburst well we missed the uh the good storms and this rolled by but we're at this wash that loves to rage seen it rage a lot so supposedly the radar says three to four inches of rain just fell right upstream and maybe we'll catch it coming through here in a, i don't know 10 minutes or so we'll have to watch and see be really cool bailed on the flash flood because we got the storm coming over saddlebrook drop in bolts one dropped right there so got to hope for a couple more i missed it while i was setting up So cool. Oh, just give me one. Very, very pretty. Ooh, one up there. That is awesome right there. This has dropped the bolts on this side. So of course I think I missed them because I aimed hoping for the composition there. The bolts were there, so see if uh i don't know we'll just see there's got to be one or two more good ones right here this is gorgeous look at this whoa Sound like a freaking uh, Voltron or a robot coming through the sky. This rain is about here. Nasty looking. Look at this dumping right there. Well, just left in the nick of time. A bolt landed about a quarter mile down the hill. I kind of wish I would have got it. And then just now I'm driving a bolt just hit on the hill right here, 50 feet away from me. So. Uh, time to uh, get north, I guess, but 
Um, hopefully I got some good ones back there. That was, that was um, made up for the fact that I missed kind of the earlier stuff. Yep, there's the wash flowing that we almost would have had if I would have stayed. Ah! There's some wild structure going on back here. All right, well this storm went up a notch after we bailed because we had bolts striking around us. Now I'm back on Park Link Road and this thing is just dropping a ton of them. Wild, pretty close. All right, well, it's been fun. Um, some bolts, uh, they kind of like have, at least right next to me, have kind of stopped striking. Maybe that distance storm has some, but we're getting very uh, outflowy, gust front kind of stuff happening, all going towards Phoenix. So normally this kind of thing would kick up a dust storm, but it doesn't really seem like that's gonna happen today. The, the winds are not very strong and it's rained. So, but it's been pretty fun. Well, I probably didn't get it, but I just saw a bolt hit right on the mountain there. It just started. If it starts dropping here, I could have a really nice show. Just one. We got a little shelf cloud rolling in there. Trying to get another bolt from this. There's been a couple. Would love a nice big one before I have to bail. But that shelf, kind of shelfy structure that looks pretty cool. I'm always trying to get bolts hitting mountains. It's the best thing. It hits flat out there. The only thing I like out there is that composition with those water towers. Um, otherwise, I just love bolts hitting mountains. So I try to, I'm just hanging in here to see if I get it long enough. We've already gotten a few hitting it. So one more would be cool. A good one. Or between me and the mountain. You know, it gives you a 3D, uh, kind of a dimensional, three dimensional, a dimensional, a scale, something to show the bolt where it lands. If you got a mountain and it lands between you and the mountain, you got a nice, um, kind of scale and 3D location, even if it's a flat photo. Um, but they hit the mountain, that's great too. Pretty strong looking storm just to myself. Um, I don't know if I've seen any bolts, it's just so heavy rain and hail, probably. Small hail that uh, I'm not going to see very many, but the thunder's been good, so it must be good bolts in there. Sun is poking out just in time to give this shelf cloud some color. Very nice. The underbelly of it's getting lit up just a little bit. Ooh, right in there. So pretty. Wow. Look at that. And we got a rainbow over there, which I'm not shooting because this is the cool part. But my God, look at the color. This is fabulous. Got this sick shelf, and then it looks like we've got some asperatus clouds right here too. Amazing. And then we've got behind us, rainbow. Oh, what a great end. Wow, these colors.